Hello everyone! Friends, did you know that dolphins are drug addicts? Or that there is an internet connection with a speed of 91 gigabits per second? Or that nature can also copy and paste? If you don't, then get ready, because Tony and I are going to tell you some incredible facts about our planet and its inhabitants. Today's video will blow your mind. Let's start! First, we have dolphins. Scientists have discovered that they are more similar to humans than we imagined. Young dolphins, the equivalent of human teenagers, like to chew on poisonous pufferfish and pass them around. Pufferfish is known for a lethal substance known as tetrodotoxin that it carries in its body. But in small doses, this substance works like a drug and causes a euphoric effect. Looks like the dolphins know about this and take advantage of it. The next unusual fact is that there aren't any McDonald's in Iceland. Before 2009, this fast food restaurant was very popular in the country and it was growing steadily. But 11 years ago, there was a financial crash and the local currency value declined more than 50%, meaning that the ingredients for the burgers became more expensive. McDonald's forces its franchises to buy their ingredients at special bases, which guarantee the higher standards of quality. The closest base to Iceland was in Germany. So, the burgers in all McDonald's in Iceland became incredibly expensive and couldn't compete with other fast food chains, which bought their ingredients in the local markets. Moving on, you are probably wondering where is this magic internet connection with a speed of 91 gigabits per second that we mentioned earlier. This incredible speed was recorded at NASA. Who wouldn't like that speed, right? You could download all the seasons of your favorite show in one second. But here's the catch. This speed is achieved using a private network inside NASA, which can only be used by American research facilities to exchange huge amounts of data. Talking about computers, did you know that if the human brain were a computer, it would be able to perform 38,000 trillion operations per second? The world's most powerful supercomputer can only manage 0.002% of that. Let's keep talking about technology. Here's an interesting story about Steve Jobs. It was shared by a former worker of Apple and it clearly shows that Jobs was a genius. One time, Jobs was shown a prototype of the iPod. He held it in his hands and promptly rejected it, asking the workers to make it thinner. The engineers tried to tell him that it was physically impossible to make the device thinner. Then Jobs walked over to an aquarium and dropped the iPod in the tank. After it touched bottom, bubbles floated to the top. Those are air bubbles, he snapped. That means there's space in there. Make it smaller. Now let's go to the Philippines. It sounds incredible, but even Mother Nature feels lazy sometimes and creates new landscapes using the Control C and Control V. In this space, there is an island with a lake with an island with a lake. What? Let me explain. The big lake is called Tal, and it is located in the caldera of an ancient volcano. Inside Tal Lake, there is a younger volcano that created an island. And in the caldera of that younger volcano, there is a smaller lake. But the second volcano erupted not so long ago, and the small lake practically dried. This means that this wonder of nature could disappear very soon. Here's another interesting piece of knowledge. Have you ever listened to a shell? If you have, then you probably heard the sound of the ocean, right? At least that's what people say. It is, indeed, very similar. But what you are actually hearing is the blood in our ears going round and round. Now let's talk about movies. Have you ever wondered why the small videos that we see before a movie are known as trailers? They are played right at the start, but the name tells us that they should be trailing the film. The fact is that when movies were still distributed on reels, trailers were indeed shown after a movie, because it was easier. But very quick, producers and market researchers noticed that people didn't want to watch trailers after the movie. So, it was decided to show them before the movie, but the name remained. Another weird term, this time from TV, is soap opera. Do you know why these cheap melodramas are known by this name? This term appeared back in the 1930s in the US. Back then, there were radio dramas that told stories about love, and they were originally sponsored by soap manufacturers. In between each episode, you could hear different soap commercials. Why? Because these radio dramas were mostly popular among housewives. Since then, the term soap opera is used to talk about low-quality shows characterized by melodrama and sentimentality. So friends, tell us in the comments if you know any other interesting facts. The best stories will be featured in the next episode. And don't forget to give us a like if you learned something new. See you soon in a new episode of Super Tony. Bye-bye!